this is Jessica DeMassa and I'm reporting from the Heise studio here at HIC 2017. I'm here with Louise. Uh, can you please introduce yourself for everybody watching? Sure, I'm Louise van der Kran. I'm the marketing lead for, for healthcare for DXC Technology. Okay, so tell me what um, DXT is working on right now. Sure, we're working on our digital health platform. Um, that's quite a big concept to explain in a short amount of time, but essentially it's a, um, a technology blueprint to lay over healthcare organisations, existing IT investments, and then to work with them and understand their priorities around digital health transformation and to help them create a faster path to that. So it's essentially an open API um, marketplace okay. um, with a secure, robust um, enterprise um, platform that enables us to leverage existing IT investment as well as then bring in new innovation in a secure and safe um, and standards based way. Okay, so talk a little bit more about that because you just said a lot. So let's unpack that um, because, no, I, I think that right now there are a lot of providers both in organizations large and small that are looking to, you know, t take their operations digital and it sounds like you guys have a, a pretty effective piece-by-piece -piece way of doing it. So how are you guys, I mean, how are you helping organizations move along? What's been your approach? It's really sitting down and listening to their priorities mm -hmm. and working out with them um, I guess their next steps that they would like to um, number one align with the um, organisational priorities as well as the patient and clinician priorities and then finding that initial project to start working on that sets them off on that path of digital transformation. So we find that parts of innovation and transformation are happening in pockets but we're about joining that together in a I guess a secure structured strategy that then enables them to move module uh, I guess module by module along that journey so um, yeah how are we doing that I guess it's really listening to the client working with their priorities and then enabling a structure around that to um, let them do a pragmatic approach to digital transformation. From a macro level, yes. are you seeing any trends in w in where people are starting out, what the priority is? Like, is there an, an overwhelming um, focus on security or is there an overwhelming focus on make it work with my system? Like, what, do you, what are some of the big trends that you're seeing? I think we just touched on two very big trends. I think in the last few months, we're seeing a lot around security. So for us, that's um, a very big um, piece of the strategy but often um, from a healthcare organisation perspective it's a little bit hard to know exactly where to start with that conversation with security so that is certainly one component of it but in terms of trends there really hasn't been one that's come out of it some are after analytics some are after a, um, a mobile clinician interface that they want to overlay over all of their applications from a hospital wide perspective so they might decide that that's the single focus that they want to get started on um, some it comes from an IT perspective so it might be we've got some aging infrastructure that we really need to replace and we want to start to move to that as a service journey so how can, what can we do with parts of our infrastructure to enable that so often that can be the catalyst to start from an IT perspective or it could be from a clinician perspective to come from the other end or they might say we want to really start connecting with our GP community more so we might say all right let's map a patient journey that you'd like to start with and so we'll look at it from a patient perspective, look at it where the clinicians are involved, where the patient is involved and how from a, I guess, a, um, a guidelines and a procedure pers uh, pers perspective, how do we need to bring that together in the smoothest possible way for the, to enhance the patient journey. So it could come from with outside, from within or, you know, from right in the centre of clinical care. So, I mean, you're obviously providing a great deal of consulting and kind of hand-holding through this process. So give us your best advice for an organization that, you know, comes to you or, or wants to start, you know, evolving toward that digital transformation. W what is your best advice for them in terms of the, the mental approach that they need to take to such a massive undertaking? I think for them to just start with where are their biggest pain points? What is it that keeps them up at night that they really worry about? And let's start right there in the heart of that pain and then start to work out a way to collectively um, approach that and outline a you know a strategy for that so yeah where, what's really hurting them at an organization level at a clinician level and at a patient level and then yeah what's the logical step to start on that
Fantastic. Louise, thank you so much for joining us and for sharing your perspective with us. We really appreciate hearing um, how, how a company like yours is taking on this digital transformation and trying to help lead the way and shepherd others through it. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thanks thank very much. Thank you. Nice. This is Jessica DeMassa from HIC 2017 in the Heise Studio. Thank you.